Welcome back. You're watching the Diary of a Dog Walker provided by Crichton Pet Services. I'm Stephen Crichton and you join us on Wednesday the 5th of April in the afternoon with the more active dogs, minus one. I'll come on to explain about this in a minute or two. But we are exactly 48 minutes into our walk and we've already done three kilometres. So that's kind of setting us up roughly for 6k in the 90 minutes that we take on. The dogs are well motivated by this pace and it's quite hard to speak to you guys as well as uh, uh, kind of keep it up because we really are going at it so to speak in a biblical sense of course so stay with us I'm going to show you the highlights of our walk with the seven dogs let me show you them so we have Lottie, Rua, Blossom, Otis, Ted, Pablo and Barney at the back there and in case you're wondering there's no one attached to me, there is no white cockapoo, there's no Max uh, today. He was out with me in the morning to see if a change in the combination of the dogs might help uh, take some of the stress away from what we do, but that didn't help either. So we're now really scratching our heads and having a bit of a, a bit of bother with this. So Pablo's out, Pablo and Max are brothers. He's came out with me this afternoon, Max came out this morning and uh, yeah, don't even think he's noticed that he's not here, but um, never mind, never mind. Anyway, without much further ado, I'm gonna hand you over to these guys, show you the pace and everything that we get up to, and I'll be back at the end, or if there's anything interesting to talk about midway through, just to kind of uh, recap, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hand you over to these guys, that's gonna be the best thing. See you at the end. Oh, Ted. That's why you've got to wear a jacket. Come on, you three. We're all a little bit hyper. And our breathing kind of is, thank you. You love working, don't you see? You love working. You alright, Oats? Hey, yeah. right, Pablo. Hey, right, buddy. You okay? Here, you okay? <laughs> I see ya. I see ya. Okay, stop coming. Not coming. Can we just practice that again? We're on a stop, guys. We're on a stop. Boss, stop. <coughs> Pablo, shush. You know, you're not as good on camera as you were off camera. Yes. There's nothing at stake to it. Come on then. Control dogs, eh? Let's see if we can get them back. Rio, come! Sit nice. Sit nice. Temper yourself. Thank you. Good job. Good oats. Good oats. Missed twice. Good bossy. Head, you had one. Good bossy. Good Pablo. Barney. Good boy. Otis, catch third time. God, three times in a row you've dropped it, young man. Well done, you can go back to what you were doing. Lottie. I think this is as far as we'll take it. We're going to double back on ourselves. Lottie. Aha, uh -huh, I know what that, that means. Yes, I do. We've done a good hike down to here. And even although we could go and have a play in there, I think we'll just go back up on the path. What do you think? Come on.
<laughs> I think this is the end of our road because this couples on to the actual expensive golf course and this is all jaggy so we don't get that stuck in this out let's go back let's go back let's go Lottie, up to the top. Here you go. What's this? What's this? What's this, Pablo? Pablo? There we go, Lottie. Ah. <laughs> Come on in, enough to lay down. <whistles> Boss. We're not going back down till you get up. Here you go. Okay, there we go. Good you guys. Good pace. Good you guys. Are we knackered? Come on, we're over halfway. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep working hard. Rhea. Rhea. Make a decision. Good. Ah. Mm -hmm. If ever the subject of training comes up, the one thing I'll always say about it is that a dog is trained when a decision comes a reaction. And at the moment, Rua is still in the sort of, kind of in the gray area between a reaction and a, deci and a decision. She's sometimes reacting on impulse you know when she gets asked and sometimes she's making that decision for herself the more that she's out with us the more it will just become instinctive and uh, so she's not she's trained but she's not quite pack trained yet and uh, we're going to get there but let's see if we can get her over Here I come good girl see how she turned around to look back at Otis and she's looking again she wants to play with them but she's torn Here I come good girl and walk with me good girl Walk with. Good girl. Aha, uh -huh. never mind him. Never mind him. It's okay they have fun. I don't mind that. But they need to do what I ask them to do when I ask them to do it. And uh, we're just about there with the, with the rest of the gang. Hmm? That's just off the back of me whistling for her. What a good girl. We've just met a guy in the bushes with a golf club. Like hacking out golf balls that have gone awry I was just thinking to myself wow that is some hobby that is not my idea of a hobby going fishing for other people's golf balls but each other one I'm sure they're expensive good boy buddy good boy good Pablo how are you feeling you good good tail wag bud here comes Blossy We'll keep the camera rolling until she catches up with us. Lottie, keep coming. Good, you guys. Here she comes. Good girl. Good girl. Good, you guys. Rua is actually... Oh, my God. Rua. She was resource guarding the water there, which is interesting. You're going to alienate yourself from the pack, sweetheart. A little example of leadership here as well. So Lottie is the last to rejoin us after bumping into another dog who was quite interested in the pack and she was first to greet it, stood her ground, stopped, positioned herself between the dog and the pack and then was last to leave after until the dog went away. So interesting guys, isn't it? Yes. Otis, keep coming. It's not over yet, bud. It's not over yet, you're filthy. You have to tell me off, you poor egg. 
Well, we tailed off a little bit and it's not quite the 6k, but it's certainly an interesting pace. Oh, just come. And uh, yeah, it's been a good, a very, very good afternoon with these guys. We've, they've worked very, very hard, myself included, mind you. But um, yeah, they're going to sleep well when we get back to their respective houses. And uh, yeah, quite proud of them actually for the way that they've worked together, for the intensity that we've kept up, the kind of focus and how that sort of narrows their sight and distractions become less of a thing. It's been good, it's been very, very good. So um, yeah, if you've enjoyed it, I'm gonna have to wrangle them up. I think they're just not quite uh, keen for the last few hundred meters. So I'm gonna put the leads on them just now and uh, I'll take this opportunity to sign off. Thank you so much for staying with us and watching. Send some love and hugs to Max in the comments below. We could all do with them at this end and uh, we really appreciate you taking the time to watch us so thank you for doing that if you've not subscribed already remember to do that because you might be watching and not having subscribed so you won't miss out on our future endeavors but for me and these guys we're going to say goodbye bye bye